Today we're diving into a paper that explores a novel approach to enhancing reasoning abilities in large language models, LLMs. The paper, Fine-Tuning with Divergent Chains of Thought Boosts, Reasoning Through Self-Correction in Language Models, proposes a method called Divergent Chain of Thought, DCOT, to improve LLM performance on reasoning tasks. Let's start with the basics. What is the core idea behind DCOT? DCOT is based on the idea of generating multiple chains of thought, COTTs, simultaneously during inference. Traditional COT methods involve prompting an LLM to generate a single step-by-step -step reasoning process to arrive at an answer. DCOT, on the other hand, encourages the model to explore multiple divergent reasoning paths in a single inference step. So instead of just one line of thinking, the model is encouraged to consider multiple possibilities. How does this approach differ from existing methods that generate multiple COTTs? The key difference is that DCOT generates these multiple COTTs in a single inference step, allowing the model to compare and contrast them within a single reasoning process. Other methods typically generate multiple COTTs through separate inference steps, which limits the model's ability to directly compare and learn from the different reasoning paths. That's interesting. Why is it important for the model to have access to these divergent coded T's within a single inference step? The authors argue that this simultaneous generation of multiple coded T's allows the model to engage in a form of self-correction. By comparing different reasoning paths, the model can identify potential errors or inconsistencies in its initial thinking and refine its answer based on the more accurate reasoning chains. So the model is essentially learning to self-edit its own reasoning process. How is this self-correction achieved? Is it through explicit training or an emergent property of the model? The self-correction ability seems to be an emergent property of the model. The authors train their models on data sets containing only correct coatees without explicitly training them to identify and correct errors. However, by generating multiple coatees, the model appears to learn to identify and leverage the more accurate reasoning paths, effectively self-correcting its initial answer. That's fascinating. Can you elaborate on the experimental setup used to evaluate DCOT? The authors conducted a series of experiments across different LLM families and sizes, including Phi 1.5, Phi 2, and ELA MA2 models. They trained these models on a variety of reasoning tasks, such as those involving logic, conditional reasoning, and multi-hop reasoning. They compared the performance of DCOT models to baseline COT models, as well as to models using self-consistency, a method that also generates multiple Ts, but through separate inference steps. What were the key findings of these experiments? The results showed that DCOT consistently outperformed the baseline COT models across all tasks and model sizes. The authors also found that DCOT models benefited from self-consistency, further enhancing their performance. Importantly, they observed that DCOT models achieved significant performance gains even when generating only two CONTs, suggesting that the self-correction mechanism was at play. So the, the model's ability to self-correct was not just a result of ensembling multiple outputs, but rather a consequence of its ability to learn from the divergent reasoning paths generated within a single inference step. Can you provide some specific examples of how this self-correction manifested in the experiments? The authors conducted a manual analysis of the model's outputs, focusing on instances where DCOT generated a correct answer after an initial incorrect COT. They found that in many cases, the second COT generated by the model exhibited a different reasoning pattern than the first, leading to a more accurate answer. This suggests that the model was able to identify and correct errors in its initial reasoning process. This is a significant finding. It suggests that DCOT not only improves performance, but also enables LLMs to develop a new level of reasoning ability, allowing them to self-correct without external feedback. What are the potential implications of this research? This research has several potential implications. 
First, it suggests that instruction tuning can be used to encode complex reasoning abilities into LLMs, beyond simply improving their ability to follow instructions. Second, it opens up new possibilities for developing more robust and reliable LLMs that can reason effectively and self-correct their errors. Finally, it highlights the potential of emergent abilities in LLMs, where complex behaviors emerge from the model's interactions with data and prompts. This is a very promising development. However, are there any limitations to DCOT? One limitation is the context window of the LLM. The authors explored generating up to four commentees, but the number of commentees that can be effectively generated is limited by the model's context window. Another limitation is the computational cost of generating multiple commentees, especially for larger models. The authors acknowledged that they were unable to conduct extensive experiments on a 70B parameter model due to these costs. So there's a trade-off between the potential benefits of DCOT and the computational resources required. Are there any other potential challenges or ethical considerations associated with this research? The authors acknowledge that their research is limited by the availability of data sets and the potential for bias in the training data. They also emphasize the importance of responsible development and deployment of LLMs, ensuring that these models are used ethically and do not perpetuate harmful biases. It's important to be mindful of these ethical considerations as we continue to develop and deploy LLMs. What are the next steps for this research? The authors suggest exploring the application of DCOT to other types of prompting, such as code prompting and graph of thoughts. They also plan to investigate the potential for generating even larger numbers of CoTTs, especially for models with larger context windows. Finally, they aim to address the computational challenges associated with DCOT, potentially through techniques like model distillation or efficient inference methods. This research is certainly pushing the boundaries of LLM capabilities. Can you summarize the key contributions of this paper? This paper introduces DCOT, a novel method for improving LLM performance on reasoning tasks by generating multiple CoTTs in a single inference step. The authors demonstrate the effectiveness of DCOT across a range of tasks and model sizes, and they show that DCOT can be extended with other COT techniques. Most importantly, they provide evidence that DCOT enables LLMs to self-correct their reasoning processes without external feedback, a significant step towards developing more robust and reliable LLMs. This was a very insightful discussion on the technical aspects of DCOT. Thank you for sharing your expertise.